On the fifth day of the ceasefire in eastern Ukraine, the country's president has made a statement on a possible change of status for the defiant Lugansk and Donetsk republics. Now, Paula Slia is live uh, there and has the details. Um, Paula, good to see you. What then is in store for these republics? Well, one of the agreements of the Minsk agreement was that there would be special status granted to the regions of Lugansk and Donetsk. And we're now hearing that this will go before the parliament of Kiev next week. But at this stage, it's still unclear what exactly special status means. We're hearing from the Ukrainian president, Petro Poroshenko, that the status of these two regions will not change, that they will remain inside Ukraine. The Ukrainian president saying that their demand for federalization will not be fulfilled. Poroshenko also said that he expects the Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe to bear the lion's share of making sure that this ceasefire agreement is implemented. Now, representatives of the Lugansk and Donetsk region, as well as anti-government fighters here in eastern Ukraine, are concerned that Kiev is using the ceasefire deal to amass troops on their border. The Ukrainian president did acknowledge that Kiev was relocating its troops troops in the region, but he has said that this is not for offensive purposes. Paula, thank you very much for the update.